Hello, welcome to Melody Made. I have purchased this item in the past and it was pretty easy to purchase back then. Nowadays, it's very difficult. You have to be right there at the time that they open, get it in your car. And if you're lucky by the time you pay, it's still there. But I got one, so I'm really excited. These are called blue boxes. And they are five pounds of used, broken junk jewelry from the Goodwill. So what they do is they ship it in this box uh, that's inside of a bag there. And it's from the Goodwill in, it looks like, New Jersey. So we're going to we're gonna be having some fun here, all right? Let's see what's in here. I see a lot of blue all right so i see this blue which looks like it is if it's not um intended to it looks like it's definitely not plastic but it looks like a turquoise those are very beautiful that's actually still in good condition but i will clean it up and decide on whether i'm going to take it apart and use it for the bits or keep it like that and use it in that way Set that aside. I have a couple little containers here for smaller things. Here is um, pretty basic, just some seed beads. Um, the, the brown ones are a little bit unique. A couple of them. This one, wow, that is a statement piece, but I'm not sure what the statement is. <laughs> so I'm not seeing any comments in case anyone uh, is chatting. I'm not seeing it. Um, hopefully maybe there's just a lag. This is a leather strap with a bead that slides and then two beads at the bottom. I'm not, I have no idea. It's just a beautiful statement piece, right? Here is a stretchy. So I'm going to put the ones that are just going to be like either thrown into another uh, bag uh, of random things or taken apart for the pieces. This one, another stretchy one, a little bit darker pink. Hoop earring. Oh, wow. Sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you'll find something that you're very excited about. Now, how to get it all apart, though, is always the kicker, right? I wouldn't have thought... There we go. We'll undo that and just pull that apart. This is so dainty. Look at that, ladies. Oh, hi for the kitchen of it. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Chicken Pot Pie Society, Barbara. It's so nice to see you guys. This is fun. So this is a um, Goodwill Blue Box they uh it, at least when i go to the website what i see is that every friday um three o'clock eastern so or six o'clock eastern so three o'clock my time uh if you can grab one you can grab it so but i did get lucky and get one this is stunning now this i wouldn't take apart this is really beautiful and could be added to a journal or a project or just be worn. That is just so stunning. So that one I'm definitely going to keep like that. And even these, here's a little earring that's attached. Beautiful green beads. But even this type here with these um, bulby metal globe type beads. I love that stuff. Wouldn't that look awesome on the gothic journal or a boho journal that has, uh, you know, a, a lot of black in it as an accent? Isn't that? So, see, these are the kind of things. This would be tough. It, I probably would end up taking it apart, but I would use them in chunks, not like take every piece apart the way that I would with the things that are a seed bead type, right? So, I got to be careful because I don't want those two to get all hooked up again. Now, this is different. And we will find a lot of different type of stuff in here. Every one of these blue boxes is so unique. Now, this this is homemade. And she maybe made it um, to match an outfit that she was wearing. Who knows? 
kind of like the Tiffany blue box. <laughs> I have one piece of Tiffany jewelry and I covered it. Oh my goodness. I asked, I don't know, remember how many years ago it was, but I said, oh, we were watching a lot of the Antiques Roadshow. And so I, I just seen that everything that had the Tiffany in front of it, Tiffany lamp, Tiffany this, Tiffany that, was worth so much more. So I'm like, I, I really, 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 could we, you know, so we did, we got me a small, small um, Tiffany key and I just love it. I tell my granddaughter, it's the key to my heart and she gets it when I pass. This is really cool in its own right. I love the neutral shades there. Do you see how this is a enamel and then this is a faceted. Yeah, that is beautiful. Even the chain. A lot of things we don't realize until we um, get into what we're doing now have uh, so many different uses than what it was intended, right? This one, I will probably take apart for the beads. They're very beautiful, but I don't know what I would do with it on its own. This one is deaf. Oh, a hair clip that has um, little rocks coming off of it. That's interesting. Looks like, a, oh, wow. Oh, you guys, check that out. Should we cut it? Oh, I want to cut it so bad and see all those little pieces because those individually I'm trying to see how big a hole it is. Oh, I'm going to leave it just because I don't know yet and I'll have all these pieces sitting around. But is that not fabulous? There's got to be. Anyways, there's a lot of those. And this gray fabric organza is really pretty too. That's an interesting item. Here's just some brown seed beads. Oh, no, wait. Here's the brown seed beads. Oh, but it has a beautiful shell on it. Look at that. Now, see, those are very good neutral tone. They could be mixed in, made altered paper clips and things. These are the kind of things that I'll be doing with some of these. Oh, seashells. We all, we all have seen those in grab bags. Oh, wow. Let me see if I can find a... Look at that. I found bling. It's a lavendery, um, I don't know. Anyways, it's got a bit of a lavender tint to it. I'm going to have to wash my hands so well after this. <laughs> but it's just, I would wear gloves, but that just would take some of the fun out of it. And I am washable, thank goodness. Oh, wow, look at that. So it's um, like chain linked to um, go that far down to be like a centerpiece. And then it has all this fringe. What's this? This is an earring. Ooh. Come here, earring. These are the kind of things that I love to find. That's my favorite right there. Come on, camera. It does not look expensive by any means, but it is a beautiful piece. And I love it. So that will go with the ones over there. So then this one, I don't really know. Obviously, the chain is, is uh, useful. The fringe is kind of cool. I'm not sure what I would do with it. You guys are so sweet. I enjoy you coming and hanging out with me. I knew I couldn't open this alone, right? No way, Jose. There's a couple of earrings. I apologize for my struggles with this stuff, though. Now, here's these two are different. This one is just, this one is just metal, right? Very thin and kind of flimsy. This one is a hoop that has beads on it. I kind of like that. I could add a piece to hang in the center and hang it off of something. Couldn't I? Oh, this is, this is cool. I love, when I was young, my grandmother had jewelry that had that little beaded with the gold at the tip like that stopper. I don't know. Let me get this to where you can see it. This is the kind of stuff that just takes me back to my childhood. Not so much the clear ones, but these little pearl ones. I don't remember what the piece was or pieces. But I just remember her having. Oh, that's going to be so fun. That is so interesting. I guess it's just a necklace. Oh, but look at that. Now, that's awesome chain to hang and do things with. In fact, I, sometimes I use this kind of stuff. You see that? They're oval shaped. No teardrop. 
anyways, I use those for jump rings and to do things that I'm doing with if I can't find the right size jump ring. <gasps> Purple. Oh, wow. This one feels... I wonder sometimes the people that pack these up, if they have a tough time just grabbing handfuls and throwing them in there. I couldn't work there. I would want to take everything home. So this is definitely a purple um, color scheme. And it's really kind of nice. I'm not sure I'm going to have to look at it, but it definitely, it has a more of a jewelry jewelry feel. And I am no expert, so do not do not uh, think that, you know, what I say. That ring could go so well with my tiara. <laughs> I bought myself a tiara for my 50th birthday. It's just plastic, and it says 50. But I still have it. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maybe get a real one for my 60th birthday. Goals, right, ladies? We all have to have goals. Now, I don't know if this is even worth separating. So here's the little yellow piece, which is really awesome and could be used in a in um, a dangle and then this I have plans I collect these not necessarily the ones with enamel but the hoop rings and I do have plans for them we'll go over that sometime in the future <gasps> wow check that out chunky chunky I wonder if I could ladies does anyone work with alcohol ink do you think I could color these with alcohol ink and make them what I want they I don't know if they actually Sometimes the thread is actually glued in there. Do you know how that works sometimes? The feet, nope, they have a hole. Those, those are beautiful. See, I did it. I, I knew I would eventually. I'm going to make a mess if I don't put it away. Um, I like that. I just don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them. But I will figure out something. Here's some silver stretchy ones. Ooh, look at that. Boho, here I come. That uh, orangey salmon color looks so good in boho. And each of those are, have a setting, so this isn't, this isn't necessarily cheap either. You see that? I mean, it's not. It's costume, but it's, I don't think it's cheap costume, you know? I don't know if any of you have uh, any kind of experience with jewelry. Definitely, if you see something I should know something about, let me know. As it is, I have to go on the Google to figure out books and almost everything. Those, I really, this is exciting to me because the neutrals are what I like to work with. Um, these are just gorgeous, these two pieces here. This and this are all, could go together and do something fun. And then I could add, um, you know, a darker pop of color. Isn't that cool? Am I too far from the camera? Anyways, it's all looking so well together. White. Ooh. White, they're, they might be stones because look, they have like almost like an agate look. Does that make sense? See that? I don't know. Don't you know? Oh, here's her other earring. I almost want to keep these because you know she worked hard on these. Somebody did, right? And although it's kind of out there. <gasps> ooh, that's an unusual. Ooh, ooh. Do you see those? Let's see if I can. Oh, come on, camera. Hmm. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can read them. I probably can't. That one looks like a recycling symbol. That's kind of a weird. That one, I don't know. I'm going to have to get a magnifying glass. But this one, again, it looks a little bit more like not as, as a rinky dink. This one. Beautiful. I would wear that. See that? Oh, might be a little chunky for it, but I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, I would wear that. Wow. Out there. <laughs> I do try to be careful. I uh, I do try to be careful. I do not want to offend with my uh, opinions. Just you know, you just throw birds out there. Wow, those are actually pretty yellow. I like that. Here's just some more.
um, stretchy. A, that's this goes into my mix. <laughs> my Alexa is talking to me. Or answer product questions. To get started, just tell me what you need. Off. Order double A batteries. Alexa. Off. Sorry, I said something that made her wake up. This is really pretty how they put the caps on there. And I'd like if I take this apart, I will save those caps because I love bell caps. I think you can make um, really cute tassels with these bell caps. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's a statement piece. All right, we're getting into the colorful stuff. Here's, now, this is a nice assortment of them, even if I don't know that what I do with them. It's nice that they have the large, the medium, and the small together all here, because then you could actually add them to a project and have enough of them to make a statement. Oh, I don't want this to end. Tried to order another one this last Friday, and it didn't work out, and I didn't stress about it. So I'm like, Melody, you haven't even gone through the one you have. Oh, my goodness. Now, this is kind of probably cheesy, but I think it's cool. That kind of, what is it, gypsy? Belly dancing gypsy stuff. Ooh. Oh, those are fun. Those are going to be fun. Lots of bracelets. This one I seen through the plastic and I was curious, but I'm going to have my husband look at it. We're going to kind of see if there's any marks, but that that looks pretty cool. Isn't it? Okay, some hoop earrings. Oh, no, this is a bracelet. Almost looks like it's homemade. Maybe somebody was trying to get into metalworking. There is a definite statement piece of earring. What is this? This is, oh, this is a like a lanyard thing. Still, that's a good piece right there. It's a small one. See, or uh, where are you, little guy? And why are you in here? Are you tied to something to be a necklace? No, nope, he's just here. Isn't he cute? He made it through all that jewelry and didn't get broken. I am surprised. I am surprised. Alrighty, so this piece is a dove, and it has um, it has some leather or jute. Looks like a waxed jute coming off of it. This is another one of these. There was two of these, so the um, young lady. I'm surprised they're in the same package. The young lady had one for each side that they just pin in the hair. I missed where you said you get these jewels from. I thought you said the Tower of London, but I may have misunderstood. <laughs> Blue box. Blue box from the Goodwill. If you get on the um, the site uh, on Fridays, you can grab the box. And um, I think it's $29.99 plus $5 shipping. I'm not sure about $5 shipping. Um, and they are just random five pounds of junk jewelry i've gotten um this is my third time i think i like that i like those little beads there but um new jersey this particular box came from new jersey i don't know if they all come from new jersey but this one the return label says new jersey those are beautiful that is a beautiful i'm really happy with all the neutral tone this i would add to a to a um the uh, kits for steampunk, that color and that style would work well for that. Oh my goodness, the whole thing, a whole necklace of tassels. Price tag still on there. Not price tag, just the bender. But so it's a really pretty chain, and then it has all these tassels at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are cute. You're welcome, Barbara. Yeah, I like I said, I think it was like, oh, I want to say almost two years ago, you could buy it easily. Nowadays that everybody knows about them, those are some nice blue ones that are just a flat, you know, just a blue, not tealy blue, not baby blue, just blue. Um, oh, I love these bells. Oh, I got the I got the gypsy bag. Can you hear that? Oh, I love it. I almost don't want to even take that apart. I have some of these. 
that I purchased because I love them so much. Maybe I'll maybe I'll make another um, boho journal and make this into the tassel. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Oh. <laughs> Anyways, just some stretchy be seed beads. There's the other blue one I seen. That is a lot of seed beads. That was a lot of work somebody put into that. Um, matching earrings, arrows. We have um, seed beads on a on a bracelet. We have ooh, ooh, ooh. It's just I don't know. You know what? I think it's just the hunter gathering me. But this stuff, I love finding things that are so unusual. Look at that. See that? Canada shipping and currency exchange doesn't work for me. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You might look up on Etsy or something, not Etsy, yeah, I, yeah, or even maybe, I don't know, but sometimes the, you know, other people put these things together too. Wow, that is gorgeous. It slides real, it's just a wonderful piece. I love that. Green, stretchy with a little leaf symbol. Orange ropey one. A uh, music note. We're getting towards the bottom, ladies. I usually, I've gone to garage sales and estate sales, and I will buy. That is heavy. I don't know. It's not as heavy as it is. So this one didn't have as many bracelets as I've had in others. So that's kind of good. I've had some that had a ton of these, just a ton, which, again, I can use in mixed media, so it doesn't bother me much. This one's actually still kind of nice. That one's kind of pretty. I don't know what I would do with it. It was pretty, you know. You just you notice these things. This one, oh wow. Long. I don't know. It's in a knot and it's got a kind of a fun little thing there, but it's the chain is a little oblong. And I have to have my husband look at I can see that there's a label there, but I don't know what it is. It's a pretty piece. It's another in the neutral pile. This one, stretchy this i love this stuff i use this in vintage journals a lot um okay where do i go now i say goodbye you can't be friends forever move along your way this is beautiful do you see the pink in there the little pink jewels and then the um antique looking beads oh i just i love this not a rosary, is it? I don't see anything on there that would be a rosary, but it is beautiful. Those are the kind of things that I would have liked to have worn back in the day. If I if I had been back in the day, that's what I would have loved. Oh, wow. Okay, so this happens quite a bit, too. You will get... See, now this probably took up a pound of my five pounds. This piece here... Could do a few things but man somebody had okay I'm getting two things mixed together here this piece has three i can't tell if that's supposed to stay i don't know ladies i don't know but do you see that this feels like it's a whole pound of chain but on here are these little pink stones or, or gems whatever they would be considered and they're attached periodically to the metal chain so i don't know that's going to be something i'm probably mixed media probably throw that down and use it as background noise there's this one. Ooh, they're all they're all separate and then they put a, a rod through it so they move i wonder if i could take that apart i don't know oh Look at that tassel. See, that's a bell cap. I love those. I want to find more of those. I just haven't been able to do it yet. That's inspiring. So here's um, another bracelet. And looks like a watch band, but it is a bracelet. And it says Nautica. Hmm. Earring. Oh, and it, that, oh, I haven't seen that. I don't wear a lot of hoop earrings, though. I don't, I don't, I wonder if there's a match in here. It doesn't look like it. The last piece in here, the last two pieces. Oh, I do have a match for this one now. Wow, there's a lot more matches than usual. So I got two of those. And then the, oh, the last three pieces 
four pieces. They are all stretchy um, bracelets, blues and blacks. And I will take all those beads apart and make other things with them. So that was the bag. Five pounds of jewelry. And there's even little gems at the bottom that came off of probably, I, wonder, I don't know if they came off of this one or another piece. No, nope, it's a different piece. Anyway, something was losing its gems, and so there's some down there. But the most exciting pieces to me, and yours may have been different. You might have seen something in there that grabbed you differently. But the neutrals, the gyp gypsy bells, belly, belly dancing bells, the neutrals, the pearly pearls, this set of neutrals, right here, the blacks, do you remember the blacks, the beautiful antique looking black, isn't that gorgeous, oh. and if I was to pick one more, I think this one, or this one, but anyways, these are my favorites out of it. Would I have paid $30 for these pieces? No. But did I have fun opening it up and going through it with y'all? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Will I be able to figure out something with all of this? Maybe. And maybe not. But life is a gamble. And um, all this stuff can be used in one way or another. I didn't see this one. I still got hooked on something else. Anyways, thank you so much, ladies, for hanging out with me. I'm going to make this video short. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I will be back for sure on Wednesday for Wild Wednesday and then maybe some other things. I have some shares that I want to do, and um, I'm just so excited. So excited about all of this inspiration. Look at all that. Wow. If you end up getting one of these, definitely uh, message me. Let me know. I'd love to see your video. Bye-bye. What time? Oh, what time? I have been going on at noon um, noon Pacific Standard Time. So um, I'm not sure what that works out. But I am going to be doing jelly plate printing and um, mixed media. And it's going to be fun. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.